what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dirt Bike Magazine video. Today we're testing the 2024 KTM 125 SX two-stroke. The 2024 KTM 125 SX is the most technologically advanced 125 motocross machine that KTM has ever produced with an electric starter, two optional pre-programmed maps that can be changed on the fly, electronic power valve, and a throttle body fuel injection system. Combined with all the other features like Brembo braking components, WP suspension, a toolless access airbox, and hydraulic clutch. This has gotta be the best 125 made right? Well, let's not get ahead of ourselves just yet, because with technological advancements, almost always come some bugs that need to be worked out. Compared to the previous generation, the 2024 KTM 125SX only retains the use of the WP fork assembly, Brembo braking hardware, wheel fitment, Magura hydraulic clutch actuator, and a few other components. The 2024 KTM features so many new items compared to the previous generation that it will make your head spin. The frame is all new with all new New styling throughout, new rear suspension, electric starter that eliminates the kickstarter altogether, the carburetor is gone, and replaced by a throttle body fuel injection system. The electronic power valve is now wired directly into the EFI mapping, allowing port timing to be changed using information relayed from the throttle position sensor along with the engine's RPM. A few shops, however, like Twisted Development and WMR Motorsports, have cracked the code to these locked CPUs. Spark advancement and fuel delivery are also able to be altered by the two present maps installed at the factory, which can be changed on the fly using the handlebar mounted switch. KTM then locked the CPU so the general public cannot alter these settings. The carbureted kickstart model tipped the scales at 195 pounds without fuel, making the Austrian 125cc machine the lightest. But with the addition of electric start and fuel injection, the KTM gained weight and is now hitting the scales at 206 pounds. In the small board two-stroke class, 11 pounds can make a huge difference. <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
What does it all mean? Fuel injection has definitely changed the power characteristics of the KTM 125. As a matter of fact, it completely flipped it over compared to the carbureted model. On the track, the power feels like it starts sooner on the bottom, pulls about the same in the mid-range, although it is less exciting, and then signs off earlier on the top end. Just like when four-stroke motocross bikes switched over to fuel injection, the two strokes are losing their signature hard hit of the power band that everyone is used to, and now produce a smoother, linear type of power. Most two-stroke purists will not be happy about this. If you live and die by the dyno charts, the new fuel injected 125 model comes up about three to four horsepower short of the carburetor model's peak power. Although not as drastically different as the four-stroke model's mapping options, all our test riders preferred the more aggressive white button over the standard green button options. The KTM does come up a little short in the acceleration department. That's critical in a class where holding the throttle wide open is the difference between winning and losing. The KTM also has the occasional hesitation experience. It's brief and only takes place when the bike is being over revved and is under a sudden load. Starting a 125 machine is not something most of the world thinks twice about, so having the magic button is always preferred. Overall handling is slightly stiffer than the previous model due to the rigidity increases in the new frame, but suspension settings seem to be a little softer, soaking up any harsh feeling back to the rider. Compared to the carbureted kickstart model, the fuel injected electric start model is just over 10 pounds heavier and a few horsepower less at peak power output, but it is easier to keep in the meat of that power. If you are a serious racer in the intermediate or pro division, the 2024 KTM 125 might not be the first smart choice for a couple of reasons. But for the average 125cc pilot, this bike is easier to keep in the meat of the power as an electric starter, the guessing game of jetting is eliminated by fuel injection, mapping options are on the fly, has great brakes, and an overall handling package that fits a wide variety of riding skill levels. You just have to be honest with yourself about what you're looking for. KTM is is all in with the new technology here, warts and all. There are those who will insist that it's a step backwards, but no progress comes without risk. Most 125 riders will love the 125SX for the smooth power delivery and electric start. Only the most advanced racers might frown upon the edge that has been lost. We hope you guys liked the 2024 KTM 125 two-stroke test. If you want to see the full written review, head over to Dirt Bike Magazine. And as always, hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on the latest video releases we got going. And also, give us a follow on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.